Hello again. Today is day three of my 30-day video updates on how I make money online. Thanks so much for following along. And I do have a confession to make right up front. I did miss my first day yesterday. Uh, day three should have been yesterday. However, um, I had a lot of work going on. I did get caught up. Uh, three new orders. I got some new websites started. Uh, a lot of video work done. And then uh, at the time I was going to make my video, my son wanted to hang out. So we watched a bunch of YouTube and a movie, and before he knew it, it was late and time to go to bed. So, uh, but here we are, and one lesson I think to take away from that is, you know, you got to make time to spend with your family. Sometimes it can get easy to just get <clears throat> pulled into working on the computer, doing your things online. You got these orders or work that you have done, goals that you're trying to meet. All good stuff. So you, you know, definitely need to do that and stay on task. The big mistake I've seen people make when they try to make money online is they try to be a weekend warrior. And uh, on the one hand, I get it. You got a life, you have a job, you're working. Um, and so you try to do what you can on the weekend, but it's really hard to get any kind of momentum if you're just doing it on the weekend. So you do want to try and make sure that you're doing a little something every day with your business. So I definitely got a lot done yesterday with my online business. However, I didn't get to making this video. So here we are today, and this is day three. And again, starting here in my Fiverr account, because that's where most of the action is happening right now online. Um, my monthly total in June, July, it's July 27th. We're almost done. So obviously, um, I may not hit the 2000 mark, which, I, which is what I've been averaging, but I'll get pretty darn close, and I'm closing in very much on 700 orders. So that'll be a, a big uh, milestone for me as well. Um, right now, I have orders that I'm working on that are totaling, uh, I think it's $1,400 or so. So I have about $1,300 pending, $1,400 worth of orders that I'm working on. Sorry, the internet's slow. There we go. <clears throat> so I'm working on orders right now that total... 1412 I got 244 I can take out and another 1302 that's pending that will be available for withdrawal soon um, lots of other irons in the fire as always I have some things I'm making um, uh, sites that I make sites that I'm building uh, videos that I'm doing and some courses that I'm putting together so I did want to share another um, product that I use uh, an, called Spin Rewriter. You may or may not be familiar with Spin Reader, Rewriter. So spinning is the concept of taking a text, a piece of text, an article, etc., and then spinning it to get a something that has unique, uh, that makes it unique. Uh, one thing that uh, Google and the search engines will penalize you for is if you have duplicate content. So you know, if they can tell that the content on your website is the exact same content as on somebody else's website, then you get penalized for that because, you know, they look at, hey, did you steal that from somebody else? They had theirs online first, and then you come along and you have the exact same stuff. And so that can actually hurt your website if you're trying to make uh, do SEO ranking. Uh, now, the thing with spinning articles is that sometimes the readability is not real good, so you may have to go through them and touch them up a little bit. Sometimes they come out really good and you don't have to worry about them at all uh, a lot of um, wordpress plugins and software that will auto post content for you you know they'll pull it from other places maybe other blog rss feeds or they'll pull it from um, other sources many of them will integrate with um, spinning services and spin rewriter is one of the big ones so um, if that is something you plan to do is pull content in from other places and then spin it, then that um, Spin Rewriter does integrate with a lot of those. And so you can just hook up your Spin Rewriter account to the software that's pulling in the content and it'll automatically spin that content for you. Um, so a lot of people will use this um, maybe not necessarily on your main site because obviously you want your main site to have really good readability. Um, but you can actually use it on your main site and put it in hidden content. So content that isn't made public, so that's one way to do it. Other times, uh, people will have 
maybe a, a PBN, a private blog network, and so you have five, seven, ten blogs that are kind of auto blogs. Again, where, as I mentioned, they pull in content automatically from other places and then use a spinning program like Spin Rewriter to spin that content. So when the search engine comes, it looks unique. Now, the readability may not be great, but those PBN blogs <clears throat> are really just meant to help provide uh, link juice to your main site. So if you think of it kind of like a bullseye, you have your main site in the center, uh, the bullseye, and then around it you have maybe five, seven, ten uh, blogs that all point to your site, and that helps your site with backlinks because basically backlinks pointing like that say, hey, this this blog in the center is pretty important, um, so important that we're pointing everything, uh, you know, we're pointing towards it from from our blog. The the ring around and you can you can do several rings like that like a bullseye so that's one way people use spinning um, and then another common way that I use actually spin rewriter is I might um, you know have a video I'm going to upload and maybe I'm going to upload it I'm going to make one video um, or five I'm sorry I'm going to make maybe say five to ten videos because I really want to dominate something so there's maybe a specific niche or there's a specific product that um, I want to target and so I'll make you know five seven ten different videos you know get them all set up with keywords the titles descriptions the tags and all that and where spin rewriter will come in is I'll pull a article and I'll uh, spin it and I'll uh, get you know at least however many different videos so I'm making ten videos I'll get ten different spun copies that are all unique so everyone is unique but I don't have to write up 10 different descriptions. Most people do not read the descriptions, but the descriptions are important to help your, your video rank. And so <clears throat> when you're in Speed Rewriter, it's, it's super, super simple. I usually just go right here. You can do a bunch. They do have a WordPress plugin that actually um, spin your content automatically. So you always have fresh content. That's, again, really great for um, if you have a PBN network. But typically, I just go right here spin a single article and then um, what I'll do is I'll go and grab I pulled up a you know here's a a, uh, a text review on a Clickbank product called yoga burn and so you can just take this select all of it we're gonna copy it and then uh, paste it into spin rewriter so obviously we're gonna take these things out <clears throat> that should be it and then when you come down here you got a couple different options um, you can just go ahead and start it you can just you know do the one click you do have some advanced options if you want um, let's see what if you just want to see what the settings are um, one if you want to protect things so like the title of the article is yoga burn so we don't want them changing that um protect all cap lights so you can you can really go in and you know kind of customize it as, as much as you want and then when you're ready go ahead and just hit one click rewrite and it's going to i'm sorry my internet is slow tonight for some reason it's going to go in and <clears throat> uh find synonyms synonyms you know words that are similar and this again is maybe where you know it's not completely perfect and so if you're going to be using it for something where you want really good readability then that is where um, you may have to do a little bit of um, you know proofreading and, and adjusting so um, but as while it's working on this just remember you can use something like this as well if you're going to be uh, doing a lot of videos with content samurai the video creation content program that I talked about yesterday um, so that is always um, another good way to use something like this and then like I say especially uh, for PBN or or blogs you're pulling in uh, real quick I'll share with you one way that I use that have used this in the past I don't do a lot of this much anymore but you can build Amazon sites and the Amazon sites are mostly like stores right where you have you know the products listed out and um, pricing and all that so obviously you want those 
sites to be found? Well, one great way to do that is have content being automatic uploaded. So maybe the uh, Amazon was a niche specific uh, store site, I'm sorry, site about cat, cats. And so you're selling cat products. You're selling cat food, cat litter, cat toys, cat training materials, cat beds, and everything cat. So you're selling all these cat products from Amazon on the site, but you want people to actually find the site. And a great way to do that is uh, upload, um, pull in articles from different blog RSS feeds. So you can do a Google search on, you know, best cat blogs, and then you can find those blogs. And then there's different plugins that'll pull content in from that RSS blog. So you're getting new content, but then that plugin will integrate with Spin Rewriter. And by doing so, it will spin that content when it gets pulled in. So you can go ahead and um, have unique content. Now, because it's not super readable, you uh, it's hidden from public, but the search engines will find it. So the search, because a WordPress blog, you know, will automatically ping the search engines when new content has been put on the site saying, hey, come look at us. Come check out our new content on our site. So it'll come in as new content. However, it won't be um, viewable to the public. It'll be hidden. So uh, it'll be new content that is unique. And so it'll help your your site um, rank and be found in the search engines, get indexed, etc. But it'll be hidden from the public because, again, it's not super readable. So I'm going to put this on pause because I think we might have got held up here. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. It kind of got hung up. So anyway, here we are in step three. And basically, as you can see, you know, it nests different things, right? So Yoga Burn, we told it not to change. So it kept that. And then before it was Yoga Burn Review. And so it pulled in a couple different uh, synonyms that are hopefully similar enough. So evaluation, testimonial. And so basically, when, if we were to generate a unique version, it would pick one of these three for that version. Yoga Burn Review. Uh, next time I might pick Yoga Burn Evaluation or Yoga Burn Testimonial. And then same thing as you can see throughout the article. There's tons of different options. So basically when we click, you know, connect, generate a unique version, that's what it did. And it says this is 92% unique compared to the original that I put in. And so it did pick Yoga Burn Review. Um, previously it had said, I think it was product, yeah, product description. So this time it said item description. And previously it said yoga, but here it's put yoga exercise. Has taken the world globe by storm. So you can see it's, you know, pretty good readability, but not perfect maybe. And then if you want another one, just click, hey, let's make another one. 91% unique. Let's make another one. 91% unique. Let's make another one. 92% unique. And then you can just, you know, copy and paste this. If you want to run it through Copyscape, you can. It connects to a different program. If you want to um, have it automatically fix any kind of grammar, spelling, and then if you have it connected to your WordPress site, that's the other great thing with the plugin, is if you have it connected to your WordPress site or multiple WordPress sites, you can just post to WordPress, select which site you want it to go to, and it'll automatically post a brand new article that is completely unique. So that's been Rewriter. Um, very cool. Uh, put a link in the description below. If you like the video, give me a like. Uh, go ahead and feel free to subscribe. If you don't like, dislike, that's fine. And um, I'll see you tomorrow with my next update. Thanks so much for watching.